guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I seem to be back on track, getting, you know, my monthly wrap up pretty close to the end of the month, not in the midst of, of the following month. So we are here to talk about the five movies that I saw in the month of September. September was kind of a slow month for me. There wasn't that many movies out there that really came out that intrigued me at all um and i let me just go ahead and let y'all know right now i have absolutely positively no intention of watching the monster movie i saw the trailer and that was enough for me um i did watch the show back in the day i wasn't like a hardcore fan of it but i would watch it from time to time we're gonna go ahead and uh start off uh theatrically and then end up with uh, Disney Plus. First up is Woman King. Does this star uh, Viola Davis? And I'm not really sure if this is based on a true story or not because I could have sworn I heard it was or a pawn or whatever. It's about um, a village that has uh, female warriors. Uh, they are brought in. They are trained as young women. They make a pledge to never, you know, marry, never have children. They are just there to, you know, fight and serve for the king. Uh, they're kind of like the royalty of the village. They're the ones that live, you know, the best lives. Also, um, like always, anything that I did review will be in the description box down below. They do have a lot of really, really good, like, fight scenes and action scenes. That was pretty here for it for the most part. I feel like it did take um, a little too long to get to where, well, obviously it took the whole damn movie to get to where, you know, the big, big thing there. Um, I honestly thought we were going to get more of that particular deal about being king. Um, it was actually a pretty it's enjoyable it was a little bit too long i feel for me um it's very close to being great very close to be honest with you i feel like maybe if it was a little bit shorter maybe if we had certain other things more there it, it just needed a little some extra a little bit more spice for me um it wasn't as spicy but i do want to give a trigger warning uh because there is a rape scene went on to um see how they run I think that's the name of the movie. I can, yeah, I can never remember the name of this damn movie. This is like very much like Grand Budapest Hotel, French Exit, Knives Out. Also, it's it is a Who Done It, and but it gives you those type of like like silly vibes, but still like good. Um, it wasn't a great movie. Is it the most suspicious one? Is it the one that's in the background? Um, why are they doing this? What are their motives? Um, it was an okay movie. It was okay. Okay. All right. We're moving on to Netflix, and this is uh, Do Revenge. Now, this does star Camila Mendez, Maya Hawk, Austin Abrams, and we also have a small little role uh, with uh, Sophie Turner. Camila Mendez, you may know her from Riverdale. Not saying you because I don't watch Riverdale. Maya Hawk, um, you may know her from um, Stranger Things, and also, you know, her very. Uh, famous parents, um, Ethan Hawke and uh, Uma Thurman. She looks just like her parents. But we're in high school, we're with a bunch of privileged like kids. Uh, Camila's character is the one that's there on scholarship. She's like, the, well she is the poor one out of everybody. She's very bright obviously because she's in this school. She's trying to get to yell and uh, she's very uh, cunning and she has this is like a narcissist boyfriend who is an asshole and I, you know, you just don't like him at all. And it's a teen movie, you know, like, and nothing really newish to it. Um, there is a nice little twist there that honestly I didn't see coming, but also I probably didn't see it coming cause I wasn't like full in it with this movie. So there's that. Uh, the movie it was enjoyable. Um, I will say that I would watch that one more so over uh, see how they run if I had to. Uh, but we're gonna keep moving on to uh, we're, well we're, we're still with Netflix, but we're gonna move on to the next one which is Blonde. Uh, this does star the beautiful um, Ana de Armas. She's like one of my girl crushes, and she is playing the very iconic role of Marilyn Monroe. And this is a almost three hour long very artsy very boring very male written male directed type of film um it's not a good movie y'all we don't learn anything new about Marilyn here uh, there's a lot of fabricated 
things that are happening. Uh, apparently it's based off of some book. It, I think it's rated MA. I don't think it's R-rated. There's a lot going on here, you guys. Um, we do see a lot of Ana de Armas, very much exposure here. A lot of sex scenes, abortions, talking babies. It's very artsy. There's like a whole like pregnancy sperm deal. I don't know, like you can maybe trip out to it. All it really did was just exploit Marilyn more. You know, I mean, we already knew that sh that she was just a sex symbol, right? She was this piece of meat. They did touch base on the whole uh, John F. Kennedy deal. There's a whole scene where, you know, she's giving him head and I'm just like, I don't know you guys, it was a lot. It's in color, it's in black and white. We jump around in timelines so much that I'm just like, wait, hold on. How did we get here? Trigger warning, there's a rape scene there. We'll give props though where props are due and Ana de Armas, I feel, did capture Marilyn and she did a really, really good job you know portraying her and she did the best that she could with the script that she was given and the direction that she was given I don't know, the way that it was done it was too artsy and i can do artsy movies y'all i'm gonna say it tried it's a bad movie though but i'm gonna say it tried and then finally hocus pocus 2 29 years later i did just upload a review on this so i'm gonna uh, not talk too much about it they're back they got resurrected um we're in 2022 so of course there's a lot of modern day things this one did just go straight to disney plus there was no theatrical release for it i loved having my saunderson sisters back um love that we got the original cast back we got doug um I don't remember his last name, but the one that plays uh, Billy Butcherson, he was back as well. I feel like they definitely could have done more with the story. We missed a lot of the backstory on a lot of things. Um, you don't really have a connection with the main characters. You don't really care for them. I'm gonna leave it like that because I just uh, just uploaded my review on that. So this is another one that it was okay. It was okay. It could have been way worse. I will at some point rewatch it, but I have no intention of rewatching it again this year. This was the start of my spooky season. These are the movies that I saw in the month of September. Let me know what you watch. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, that's totally fine. Let's just let me out in the comment section, all right? So before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified each time I post something new. And um, I do want to go ahead and uh, let you guys know, because I didn't mention it in my Hocus Pocus 2 review, that 13 Nights of Halloween will be approaching. Um, so we are already lower, you know, on my videos, but... Just know we're gonna have 13 consecutive nights of videos coming your way, so I think it's gonna be all right. Um, I don't think I have anything really big coming up that I want to really review. Well, I am watching some series, and I think they will be coming toward an end when my 13 Nights of Fright come out, so it might be kind of in between there. Also, um, for my people who were around for my Reina del Sur recaps, well that's coming back around and that's actually going to be starting the week of 13 Nights of Fright. That is the Spanish version, the original version of Queen of the South. Love it. Um, I do recap those in Spanglish. Um, I do have season one and season two in um, a playlist. Um, I'll put it up here if you guys are interested. Um, you know, uh, check it out because it's way better than Queen of the South. I gave up on Queen of the South, uh, but Reina de Sud is like 10 times better. This is in, uh, season three, season two came out like years ago. Season one was even years, like we, it's not like the American ones that come out like every year. It's like years past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, very excited for that. Alright guys, um, that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at Concessions. Bye!